China's first domestically designed aircraft carrier, the Type 003 carrier Fujian, was launched on 17 June 2022. You might not know that the famous Chinese electric vehicle company BYD is closely related to the Type 003 carrier project, providing vital equipment. The Type 003 aircraft carrier is the second vessel in the world equipped with an electromagnetic catapult. This advanced catapult has many advantages, but it does consume a lot of energy. That is where one of the best battery companies in the world, the BYD, came into the project. It is reported that the BYD provided batteries and flywheel storage equipment to the carrier project. A carrier aircraft can weigh more than 30 tons, it means the core of an electromagnetic catapult is energy storage, how to store and release such a vast amount of energy to shoot out the aircraft. It is widely accepted that the alternating current catapult on the US Ford-class aircraft carrier has some shortcomings, mainly due to the unreliable AC system. China's direct current catapult is reported to have a much more stable run in testing. It has a lower failure rate, and the catapult force is easier to manage and optimize, providing much higher efficiency. On the other hand, the BYD company has come up with an excellent electricity storage design for the Type 003 Fujian's electromagnetic catapult device, mainly based on the BYD's world-class battery technology, plus flywheel energy storage backup. The combination is used in the Fujian carrier, keeping the energy to prepare for catapult launch. It would not be a surprise that the BYD has a much better storage design than its American counterparts, there are two main reasons, firstly, the Ford-class aircraft carrier systems were designed more than a decade ago, and electrical energy storage technology is far behind today's level. Secondly, BYD is the world's number one storage company in many areas, excels in many aspects, and its technical skills have been proven in the market. This means that with the energy storage design, the 003 aircraft carrier can maximize its capability to launch aircraft, especially the heavy carrier-borne cargo plane and the KJ-600 early warning aircraft. The BYD has been involved in some Chinese military projects, it is a provider to Chinese intercontinental missile projects, providing launch power equipment, and specializes in military-grade battery energy storage solutions. And of course, the BYD is a global industry giant, holding the most advanced patent in this area, selling large amounts of electric vehicles, and putting their energy storage technology in use across the world. This also creates a problem for BYD. Will the American establishment use this to sanction the BYD company? Based on what we know, the BYD is not rushing into the international EV market, that might be because they consider the mainland China market more critical. Time will tell if the U.S. government bans a part or all BYD business to counter Chinese military growth. The launch of the Type 003 carrier comes at a time of growing tensions between China and the United States over key security issues, such as Taiwan. It appears China locks in her focus on ambitious military modernization program to push the U.S. out of the Taiwan Strait and the surrounding areas. China now has a navy of 355 ships and submarines, numerically a larger navy than the U.S. Navy. But the U.S. has far greater carrier power, with 11 active aircraft carriers. The Type 003 is a lot smaller than the U.S. Navy's Nimitz and Ford classes, roughly 80,000 tons comparing the American 100,000-ton carriers. China's newest aircraft carrier is a step forward from her Soviet-designed carrier, and the Type 003 has switched from ski jump to catapults for launching its aircraft. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.